remember the day I decided to go back to wearing my hair natural. I was so upset. I was angry. I was hurt. I was sad. I had just finished a really rough, rough chapter in my life, and I just wanted a fresh start. I remember asking my mom and my sister to cut off all of it before I decided to change my mind. And the next thing I knew, I was bald. Like, really bald. I had never seen my scalp before. And the next day I went outside and the wind tickled my scalp and massaged my neck. And it was such a new experience for me, but I loved it. I knew it was time for me to embrace who I was without my crown for the first time in my life. Then my dad started cutting my hair, but he kept nicking my neck. So I decided to just grow it out. And the little bush I had, I couldn't really do anything with it. I would put a flower in, or maybe a cute headband, and then it started to grow. And then it kept growing, and it kept growing, and then I could finally twist it, I could braid it, I could flat twist it, and then it kept growing more and more. And then I just became a product junkie and I had every conditioner you could think of. Every gel, every pomade, every mousse, every spray. And it kept getting bigger and bigger. And then I got it flat on for the first time and it came past my shoulders. And I was shocked at how much it had grown in the five years that I had cut it at that point. Now it's been seven years, and I think I might just cut it again. I don't really know if I should cut my hair again, and I've been debating, and now I just really don't know. I think I might keep my afro after all.